Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions LLC. In this video, I'm going to be talking a little bit about creditor claims and specifically government agencies and why I usually don't go after those claims, although there are so many that are in the database. So if you're interested in learning a little bit about that, please stay tuned. Please note that I am not an attorney and this information is not indicated as legal advice. So uh, I called the Georgia Department of Revenue right here. It's this case, American Fire Sprinklers. They filed bankruptcy in Tennessee back in 2010. And Georgia Department of Revenue um, filed a claim uh, for taxes, for unpaid taxes for this company. So I called them in January, um, basically letting them know that I offer this service and I wanted to help them, yada, yada. Well, I called today and basically they I still get the runaround. I uh, got the right department. Uh, this number is old, so I had to research them. I got the rep on the phone. And although you have the right department, you still may not get what you want because she didn't have the authority to really um, approve this. And so uh, she did say, oh, well, this case is really old and it's closed. I saw where you called in January. And I'm like, yeah, I'm calling for the same thing. And I said the funds for $9,718 are still sitting in the court registry. This is your claim that you filed. And so she's like, well, my manager is not here, but I'll transfer the call. I said, all right. So she gave me her manager and manager's not there. And she did say, you know, with COVID, everybody's, you know, working from home at times. So she's at home. I left a message for the same thing. And basically, this is what you get. You get a runaround with no one that really has the authority or that will take the time to really look at the case. Um, it's just sort of shuffling papers. Like you filed a claim for this amount. And then you don't follow up on it at all. Um, now, it doesn't appear that their address has actually changed. It looks like they still are at the 1800 um, address. So that wasn't the reason. It just, for some reason, maybe their payment department or whoever takes their payments, maybe they just misplaced it and they didn't actually, you know, cut the check for this. But at any rate, whatever it is, it's usually poor case management, right? And that's frustrating for me, just as an American citizen here, the company, yes, the company went under, but they actually paid their taxes. They did. They, I mean, it took a bankruptcy for them to do it, but they paid. They tried to do the right thing. Um, I'm sure the Georgia Department of Revenue sent, you know, letters, probably threatened to garnish or do whatever that they do uh, when someone doesn't pay their bills. But they filed a claim and yet and still the money is still here. So the system is just it's broken. This is a breakdown in communication between one agency and another. Uh, and then you have someone like us who are third parties trying to connect the two together and it doesn't always work. And sometimes it does work. I'm not going to say that it's impossible to get a government uh, agency to work with you. I think an, just not enough people are doing it or trying it. And it takes probably someone with a lot of uh, fortitude and just like enough persistence to keep going. Got to keep sending letters. If you can find a contact, a name or if someone from the, maybe the collections um, director and maybe just keep emailing them and bothering them till they understand and they really get what you're doing. Because all they can do is say no, or they just ignore you. And I think to be honest, they're not really saying no. I just think they're not understanding what we need. And, um, I'm imagining it's a lot like being where I used to work at the credit union, where I was actually the one filing a claim like this. But um, if we got a call about unclaimed money, I'm for sure telling you that our uh, leadership would not know what to do with that either, because they would be the ones to make those decisions and they probably wouldn't know what to do. So it's just outside of the normal scope of everyday business. And this is what makes it difficult. If you want to know why uh, or what is a difficult thing in terms of reclaiming money, this type of thing is the most difficult thing. It's a simple process, but getting people to understand it, getting government agencies to be on board with it makes it interesting. This is the maybe the fourth government agency that I called today just to see if it could be done, just to see if I can get someone on the phone. I called a government agency in Mississippi and I left a message I sent. I actually had an email to uh, the director of that department. So we'll see how that goes. I usually don't contact them and there's so many. So my thinking is and my rationale is if you get one or two good claims in a specific department or agency, 
maybe they will contract you out and you can continue working for them. That would be like a really full-time business that you can do from home and you're just working on their um, claims only. That would be nice, but I just think not enough people know about it. And even if they are bankruptcy specialists in that department, even if they are a manager, they still don't know. I had to like explain to them what their claim was when it was filed, and I'm giving them the details of their case of their claim, and they should have it, but they don't because it's poor case management. And I had one lady, well, can you just um, email me the claim? And she didn't even have her own claim. So it's just baffling. Oh, actually, I'm not really surprised. It's just, it's poor case management. So I just wanted to put that out there. It is not impossible, but if you are organized, if you are someone that is persistent and does not take no for an answer, or if you know someone who is in those types of departments that can give your information over to the right department, then go for it. Um, this kind of reminds me of the Shawshank Redemption where he's writing to the state agency to get funding for that particular library. I feel like I need to write like a letter a day. I just know why that came to me, but that's so funny. It's almost like you have to be that relentless and have that level of time to get to something like this. But there are so many really good claims that are well over maybe even nine or 10,000. And that would be a really, really good contract to get if that's even possible. And again, these are things that you have to create for yourself because these types of positions for that particular um, agency doesn't exist. So I'm just saying that um, this is one reason why I don't usually go after those claims. Um, you can if you like. So please stay tuned and continue watching my channel. Uh, please continue to share, like, and subscribe if you have not done so already. If you're interested in my course, please take a look at uh, the links in the description box. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.